In my previous video, I showed how to do a layout of a particular room. In that specific video, I showed how to make a kitchen layout. Now I'm going to show how you can take all of those layouts and put them all together into a full floor layout. Hopefully you've been saving all of your room layouts because you're going to be able to incorporate them into a new file so you don't have to remake all of them. So you can see all the rooms I've created to this point. But to get started, I'm going to go to Create New and since all my measurements have been in feet and inches, I'm going to use that template. Now instead of drawing anything, to start we're going to go up to the folder icon, click it, and choose Insert. From there, choose Trimble Connect, choose SketchUp, and you should be able to find the drawings that you've made before. I suggest starting with a corner room or room that's adjacent to many of the other rooms that you've uh, designed. I'm going to start with one of the corner bedrooms on my first floor. Choose it and then click Component. Wait a moment for it to download into your drawing and then, and then move it where you want it to be. I'm going to put the corner of it right at the origin point of the coordinate system. Now we want to add another room. So zoom out, give yourself some space, and then go up to the folder and let's insert another room that you made before. I'm picking my little den that is next to the bedroom. Now this room isn't oriented correctly with respect to the first room. I need to rotate it 90 degrees before I can line it up. Go to the moving tool palette and then choose the rotating tool and you'll know you have it because it'll turn into a protractor. Look back at the coordinate system and notice that the vertical axis is blue and notice that my protractor is blue. I want to rotate it around that blue axis. Click one point on the wall then click on a second point on the top of the wall and then you'll be able to rotate. Pretty easy to move it and rotate it exactly 90 degrees or as you're doing it just type 90 and hit enter. Alright both rooms are now oriented correctly but they're not lined up and intersecting each other correctly. Go back to the Move Tool palette and grab the Move Tool. I suggest placing the Move Tool on the corner of the room you want to move and then moving it towards another corner on the other room and getting them to line up. Let's take a closer look at this. I'm going to rotate up and look at where the walls meet. Now my walls are not 10 inches thick. Each one of these is 5 inches so I need them to overlap to get the correct wall thickness. Go back to your move tool, click one of the points on the other room and slide it over so that the walls overlap. Alright, let's reposition it, get some space on the screen and then let's go up to the folder and insert the next room. For my house, the room adjacent to the den is the bathroom. All right, the bathroom is also oriented incorrectly, so I need to also use the protractor tool to rotate this as well. Make sure to pay attention to the color of the protractor so it rotates correctly. All right, now I'm using the move tool to position this room next to the den. Again, I like to use the corner points to first line it up as close as possible. Then I can move it again for any fine tuning. Again, I need the walls to overlap because otherwise the walls will be too thick. Now I modeled all of the rooms, but I didn't bother to model the closets. So in between some of these rooms, I need to draw in additional little walls or closets or things like that. Once I've rotated into position so I can see where I need to draw, I'm going to use my favorite tool, the tape measure tool and draw some guidelines. So I'm going to find the bottom of this wall and I'm going to offset zero inches. So I type zero and hit enter. Then from this I'm going to make a parallel line that's five inches away from the first one. Now I have the guidelines I need to draw the wall. Now I'm going to use the rectangle tool to draw in the lines for this wall and then use the push-pull tool to make it 3D, pulling the wall up, typing 8 and then apostrophe for 8 feet and hitting enter. The 
If you're ready to get rid of your guidelines, you don't need them anymore, you can go to the display menu, the sunglasses, and choose delete guidelines. I haven't lost any work, but because this file's getting kind of big, you may want to go and save your work a little more frequently. All right, let's add the kitchen. All right, the last room on my first floor is the living room. The living room's a little weird because it doesn't really touch any of the other rooms. There's a stairway between it and the kitchen, and then also closet space in between it and the bedroom. To help position it, I'm going to extend guidelines from the walls that make up the exterior of the house. All right, with these guidelines, I have the corner of the house and I can align the living room to that corner. Looks like this one's being a little bit difficult in its placement. Sometimes it's kind of hard to emulate 3D on this two-dimensional screen. Try breaking it in steps if it's not going where you think it should be going. Get as close as you can with the moving tool, click, and then rotate your view to a different perspective and see if you can move it again, trying to get a little bit closer each time. really think that it helps to pick a particular corner and have guidelines as an intersection point and try to move that point to that intersection point. Sometimes zooming in as you're doing it will help as well. And eventually, hopefully you'll get there. As you can see, I was able to place the living room in the correct location. As you can see, I've got some closet space I need to draw in between the living room and bedroom. All right, I'm going to speed through the rest of this because I'm using the same techniques that I've used already in the video. I'm using guidelines to find the edges of walls. Then I can offset with the guidelines five inches and then draw rectangles. And then use the push-pull tool to grow them to the correct height. This part right here is a doorway to the upstairs. I'm not going to bother to draw the stairs that are behind it because I'm more interested in the layout of the rooms in the first floor. All right, and there it is. You can use the techniques that I showed you in this video to lay out a floor in your house.